Hello everybody, welcome to the Monday Rehash and I'm back at you today as we're going over the series that we're in, This Is Not Us, and yesterday's message with Pastor Sonny Massar. I really enjoyed that and I hope that you got to see it. If you didn't, go back and watch it because we talked about prayer, uh, one of the foundational things of the Christian faith and prayer is one of those elements that we get stuck on sometimes and, and Pastor Sonny did a great job of breaking down practically some of the stick points that people have with prayer. Particularly as we were talking about uh, this is this is us. We we don't just pray, we trust. And trust is something that we have to do once we let go of the prayer. You take the prayer and you you lift it up to God and and then you trust. And there's a lot of things that happen in that trust period. Man, oh man, is it going to happen? If it is going to happen in my time, is it, uh, you know, what's God going to do? There's, there can be tension, there can be confusion, doubt, all kinds of voices will try to creep in. And I want to encourage you, don't listen to those voices. Uh, anything that would keep you from praying, is the is the plan of the enemy i wanted to just add something uh as well there's so much we could talk about with prayer i want to add something uh to what sonny was saying yesterday in philippians chapter 4 paul writes uh, verse 6 in nothing be anxious okay so that's off the that's off the table you can't be anxious um, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Now, there are two very important words in this passage, if you go back, and they may be the two that you overlooked right out of the gate. It says, uh, with thanksgiving, in everything with thanksgiving. Once you've let go of that prayer, then it becomes a time for you and I to be thankful. You ever wondered what it might feel like to God when we come back to Him after we've prayed and then we're unthankful because we didn't get what we wanted or in the timing that we wanted? Or when God answers our prayers and we don't come back? I mean, how would you feel if Somebody came and, and you, if your kids came and asked you over and over again, or a friend came and said, hey, could you do this? Could you give me this? And, and you do, but they never thank you for it. After a while, you might become a little leery. And I would dare say that so, uh, so does the Father. And, and I say that because Jesus pointed out specifically one time in a parable where 10 lepers came to, to be healed. They, they, they cried out, you know, in, in, for his help in prayer. And he heals them. He tells them, he says, go. And as you go uh, on your way to the priest and tell him what, what things I've done for you. And the scripture says, as they went, they were healed. But only one of the ten came back. And, and Jesus was making a point about the gratitude and the ingratitude of our prayers before God. With thanksgiving is something that uh, should always be a part of our prayer recipe. So when you're going to pray, you make your petitions known, uh, you, you're not anxious about it, you're going to trust God with it, but then with thanksgiving, let it rest with God. And so that's, uh, that's a thought for you today. I hope that as you're praying today, thankfulness becomes a part of your prayer. Thankfulness should be a part of your prayer every day. I think it's a great way to start your prayers with thanksgiving. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and into His courts with praise. So man, I hope that you're having a thankful day today and I pray that God would continue to speak this word to you throughout the rest of this week. Look forward to seeing you next week in our Monday Rehash. Until then, click on the link below if you want to know more about some prayer opportunities here available at CLF. We'd love to see you become a part of that. It's a part of our DNA. We believe in it. We want to see you there. God bless you. Till then.